I'm seeing the name Yanagoa. 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 I don't know who is from there. That should be what state now? Huh? By Elsa. Yanagoa. Is there someone like that? You are from that place. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing there is a strong impartation that God is bringing. You are from Yanagoa. Who is that person? I want to pray. You are stepping into a season. Let them come. You are from there, my dear? Come. Careful. Let the fire fall. Ah, someone's life is about to change. You see, let me tell you something with prophecy. Honestly, when God locates you back, just know that your problem has come to an end. Yanagoa. Please make sure, okay, there are protocol there. That's, that's. Please bring them, okay, well, I would just, can you bring them to the front here? There's still space so that they don't, um, Yanagoa, I will pray for you. Why God calls the names of states and regions, it's a miracle, it's supernatural. But I'm about to pray because I'm seeing an altar from Yanagoa that has tied down many people. They can't rise. It doesn't matter where they travel to. They still remain on the ground. But in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, hence God has located you this night. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every covenant and every altar tying your destiny. Those of you in front here, be released now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, every enchantment, every divination, every witchcraft that has tied you down from Yanagoa, I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Stopping marriages, I release you now. Stopping fruitfulness, I release you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you if there is anything you have seen as a pattern you saw it in the life of your parents now it's manifesting in your life and you're a child of god poverty failure hardship they go up and go down as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you any pattern around your life you are seeing a repetition of somebody's life it's as if you are living someone else's life i break it now i break it now I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I'm seeing someone's hand. I don't know if it's in front here or you know how visions are. But I'm seeing someone's hand held like this. And all I'm seeing is a padlock in between. One locks to another. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. I don't know whose hand has been tied. It may be a career person. It may be a business person. You came for Koinonia tonight. Every spell that has tied your hand so that you will not rise in career. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. Please return to your seats rejoicing. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You don't have to come out. You are in the overflow down, not outside, down. You came and sat quietly. Your prayer has been for ministry to work. You love Jesus sincerely. But this land has been harsh for you. The gates of ministry have not opened. I pray for you right where you are. In the name that is above all names. I use that man as a point of contact to every man of God here. You love the Lord with all your heart, but it's like the gates of ministry have refused to open. In the name of Jesus, by reason of this impartation tonight, I declare the gates of favor open now. Open now. Open now. Please lay your hands. Now, hear me. If you came with someone who is sick and cannot help themselves, then please know that you are here to help them. Are we together? Whether the person is deaf or blind or crippled, 
once they are not able to help themselves when i say lay your hands if there's someone maybe a child or an old person or someone on a stretcher or wheelchair you can agree for the person i want to pray for the sick now i hate sickness with a passion i've seen it destroy people please place your hand believe in even if it's headache don't spare lay your hands there don't tolerate anything cancer fibroid hiv high blood pressure low blood pressure growths appendicitis bone conditions heart you know problems liver you heard the testimony of the lady they kept treating something else whereas her liver had been punctured satan for you some of you quite honestly you don't even know the name of what is wrong with you you just know that you've swallowed everything that can be swallowed joint pain all kinds of things do you know i once ministered to a lady it was at that point i really respected the realm of the spirit true story her biological husband had passed on in glory and a spirit came to her to molest her in the night and this woman got pregnant physically ah, i've seen things in this ministry pregnant physically and it's not maybe as much as she told me Kai. satan for you lay your hands i want to pray a lump shoulder pain if you are standing for someone that's all right some of you especially if what is wrong with you is also wrong with everybody in your family what you need is not healing what you need is to be delivered it's a pattern it's beyond a condition hepatitis spread through headache spread through maybe some um cardiovascular problem respiratory problem sinuses all kinds of things i want to pray for you i believe in the power of god Yes, may Rama Chiatu Wata Banda Wani say, Yes, may Rama Gawaye Banda Wani say. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now over your people. If you have any blood disease, please come out. Blood disease. Blood disease. I'm, I'm not any... If it is related to your blood, blood, come out. Medically verified. I just sense in my heart as the Lord is directing me. I'm still praying for the sick. Alina sovre simelento salacros cavereto si bahashia. I'm not careless at laying hands. Uh -uh. I understand the implication of laying hands. But the Lord is asking me to lay hands on you. I'm going to do this very fast. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you now. I'm still praying for everybody. Anyone here under the sound of my voice who is suffering from cancer, liver cancer, prostate, leukemia, blood cancer, you don't have to come out. Please make sure you don't come out at random. Just those who have verified blood diseases. Oh, these spirits must leave you tonight. Must leave you tonight. The life of the flesh is in the blood. In the name of Jesus, anyone here who came with cancer, don't worry, those who are in front, you just be listening. I will lay hands on you, but let me pray. Anyone who came with cancer, any kind of cancer in the name of jesus whatever empowers those cells to multiply i command that they die now
cancerous cells die now cancerous cells die now let me pray for everyone here you came here and you are not able to walk whether by wheelchair whether by a crutch in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether you are inside whether you are outside whether your photo is here or you are connecting from any hospital I decree and declare now let the power of God search through your body receive life now receive life now receive life now in the name of Jesus now anyone who has growth in any area of your body growth whether a lump some growth around your abdominal region I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit that you be healed now shout a loud amen be healed now the Lord wants to deliver someone we don't have the time you don't have to come out but listen when you were small now I'm not saying your parents are bad people I'm sure they would have repented they took you somewhere and they made some incisions physical incisions on your body and put certain things there it was supposed to be for protection this is what God is showing me this thing has become a it has tied your destiny down that no matter where you go the Lord is saying I should set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit those marks are still there physically now that you are an adult I decree and declare whatever was programmed into your destiny by witchcraft through those incisions I set you free now help them please help that lady at the back I set you free now eye problem anyone having a problem with your eye by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare be healed now deaf ears be opened now there's someone here I don't know if you are here or you are following but I'm seeing uh, an individual they wore you a catheter they wore you a catheter from the hospital because you have you have a problem I think most like with your, your kidneys or something you are not able to pass out urine not normally they wore you a catheter whether you are here or you're in any of the overflows or following online in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit may my God heal you now Amen. joint pains be healed now bone conditions be healed now Amen. you're not able to stand for long be healed now Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ I decree I declare you say my path is as a shining light it shines ever brighter in the name of Jesus that every obstacle that stands before me clears you are not just speaking brothers and sisters hear me prayer is a platform to make decrees prophetic decrees are powerful they can shift mountains Romans chapter 4 and verse 17 Romans chapter 4 and verse 17 as it is written look up please I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed and even God who quickened the dead and does what? Call it those things which be not as though they were. So I can make decrees and call things into my life. Favor, open doors, speed, help us. I can command them to arise by decrees. One scripture to demonstrate the power of decrees. Ezekiel 37. Hmm. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1. 
The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Look up please. And he set me down in the midst of the valley which was what? Full of bones. Bones meant that once upon a time those people were alive. Something happened and deteriorated them down to the point where they had become bones. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, they were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. Very dry means that they had been there for a long time. Someone's life is about to change. Yeah. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I want to teach you something. Can these bones, Hala Sikata, can this situation live again? And he answered, Lord, even though I'm a prophet, the difficulty in this situation, I do not know if it can change. Only thou knowest. This is a prophet who was in a vision, and yet he did not even believe the possibility of that happening. That's a seriously hopeless situation. And then, verse 4, he said unto me, prophesy. Prophesy upon these bones. Prophesy upon the delay. Prophesy upon the retrogression. Not around it. Upon it. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5. And say it, Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. Six. Now notice this, for the sake of time. Did you notice that God was telling him what to say and the bones did not move? God was telling him what to say and yet the bones were acting as if he was not God talking. Verse 7. So I prophesied I was as I was commanded. I was commanded, but I did the decreeing. And the moment I prophesied, what did not even happen for God started happening to me. When God was speaking and telling me what to say, you would think the bones should just start acting. He repeated verbatim. The word confess comes from the Hebrew word homologio. It means repeat as you have heard. Repeat. The miracle did not start when Jesus was holding the bread. He gave them as they held it and as they were moving, it started multiplying. I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones. Ah, that means there is a condition where what does not look like can be aligned again. At the instance of prophetic decrees. The Bible didn't say the bones came around. They came together. Just because the situation looks chaotic does not mean order cannot be there. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing Listen, give us that scripture. We're wrapping up. We have to pray. Bones came together to his bone. That means whatever leaves you is still on earth. Just because it left you does not mean it has left the earth. There is a condition where it can return. Including time. Verse 8. He says, and when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. You see how obedient those bones are? They were never told to leave. They were only told to come together. So they obeyed and stopped there. Where the decree stopped was where the miracle stopped. They were not asked to do more. The realm of the spirit is very obedient. You speak once, it happens once. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It didn't say let them say so once. flesh came upon them the word of god defined the limits of the miracles the instruction was come together and they came together and stopped there and then the bible says 
behold sinews and flesh came upon them the skin covered them but they were there was no breath because there was no instruction about life the instruction was for order not life so just because you made decree yesterday in your health does not mean your finances will automatically answer no one aspect can respond to the decree but another aspect of your life is waiting for the decree built for it this is powerful next verse verse 9 then he said unto me prophesy to the wind son of man say to the wind so said the lord god come from the four winds O breath breathe upon this lane that they may live the bones did not hear again verse 10 so i prophesied as i was commanded and breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army listen to me when the bible says we are kings and priests it is true that there is the capacity to legislate you may look small you may look frail you may look innocent you may not have the requisite level of education you may not have the requisite level of intellectual prowess but there is one thing you have you can stand in the place of priesthood like a herbalist locking yourself in a room you can start programming spiritual realities across your entire horizon and then come out and watch life aligned to the things you have spoken this is true the place of settlement is in the secret place and then we come out to watch the wonder walking power of the spoken word hmm. unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come decrease decrease God himself put the earth in motion to a decree. Job 38, don't turn there. He said, where was thou when I decreed to the sea? And I said, thus far have you come and no further shall you go. That means the sea is the way it is today because a decree kept. It was kept there. That means flooding is a voice on earth in fraternity with the realm of the spirit. Programming the sea to move beyond its assigned jurisdiction. Everything that happens on earth that is negative, please hear me. There was someone in fraternity with the realm of the spirit who spoke it to happen. Even the coming of Jesus, it took Anna the prophetess to pray the word to come on earth. He didn't just appear. When she saw him, she said, now my soul can find rest. What I kept decreeing, speaking in the realm of the spirit, has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my lifting has come. Ah. Oh, my lifting. I, I, I. Please rise up on your feet. Shall I take a In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in the spirit. Please be serious. Take the time to pray, generate energy in the spirit. We are praying under a corporate anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. He speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the Catacata Prata was sort of a Catabana Catar. Sananda Pacata, 
Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one, Psalm 3. Psalm 3, please help us, media. Psalm 3 and verse 1. Lord, how they are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. But thou, O Lord, at the shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. Please give it to us quickly. Acts chapter 12. From verse 4. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. And the Bible says they kept him in prison. Intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison. Verse 7. The Bible says, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and they smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And the chains fell off from his hand. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself, and bind up thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment before thee, and follow me. Verse 9. The Bible says, And he went out and followed him, and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel, but he saw as though he was in a vision. 10. Hmm. And when they were past the second, the first gate, there were three gates. The first gate brought him out of the prison. The second gate was midway. And the Bible says they came unto the iron gate that led to the city. Listen to me. This is the gate that stops visibility. There is a gate that stops the visibility of man. 
it says the gate leads to the city. Your business can be there, but there is an iron gate. Listen. And the Bible says that the gate opens on its own accord. When that gate opens, the next thing you see is the city. It's the gate that controls influence. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. Every gate standing my way of influence and visibility. I declare be broken right now. Lift your voice and pray. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them would see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the priest in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. 
the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why? listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall thrive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant i am in covenant i am in covenant with the soul i am in covenant I am in covenant with the soul. I am in covenant with the soul. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse sixteen. Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse sixteen. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, give me peace.
Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feel. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened... To a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba, who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, There is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, Although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, Am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen. This scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of aliens are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we are done. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked, evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. Hallelujah. Now listen. Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews. And he was clearly cooperating with Vashti. And God needed to remove Vashti. 
And when God brought Esther, Esther forgot her. Hallelujah. That was a powerful message from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. We believed you were deeply blessed by this message you just listened to. Please and please, I would like us to go back on this message for more understanding, for more understanding and more enlightenment please go back on this message watch it over and over again if it takes you to watch it two times please watch it again if it takes you to watch it three times please watch it again for a better understanding meditate on the words that were said the bible chapters that were said please read them meditate pray with them and i pray that as we do that the lord will bless enlighten on this and bring more understanding to us in jesus name i want to encourage us that as we step into this new month let's take a new moment to reflect on how we can grow spiritually in the coming days each new month brings with it a fresh opportunity to deepen our relationship with god to serve others and to walk more closely with him this month let's be intentional about spending time in prayer meditating on his word and seeking guidance in all we do if you're new here i would like to encourage you to subscribe so that we can grow together throughout this month our faith community is here to uh, support you pray with you and walk alongside with you in your spiritual journey if you haven't dropped a comment please the comment section is always always open your opinions your thoughts your prayer requests or your maybe you want to share something with us the comment section is always always open and for your prayer request we will pray with you and i pray that as we pray with you we join hands we join hearts to pray with you the lord will grant your heart desires and answers to your prayers to our prayers in jesus name amen don't forget to like this video don't forget to share share with your friends your families your loved ones your neighbors your colleagues at work instead of you sitting down and then just maybe sitting down idly why not tell them about jesus why not share this video with them why not strengthen their faith by sharing the word with them it can start with you just a little step a baby step this is a new month for you to go back on that start that evangelism again i pray that as you embark on this journey the lord will give you the strength to go through it in jesus name amen thank you so much for staying up to the end of this video stay blessed and see you in the next video